Hello. So we are back, and it's Thursday. Yeah. And what I'll try to do, I'll try to do a shop workflow. So, you know, to have an idea how a shop is working and what kind of jobs we can fix, what kind we can't fix, what jobs we will not fix. Yeah? Just to have an idea. But obviously, the workflow is, is based on the fact we are in England. We are like one mile from London and, uh, you know, I will not speak about the money, how much we charge for the jobs and how much I am paid because it should be a balance, you know. So actually the time which you can spend it on the job is it's, it's just a little, yeah. Okay, well let's start with a funny job, you know, I got this job. This comes with uh, possible motherboard fault, saying it's no picture on the screen, yeah. And I took the charger and I say, you know, let's let's test it, let's test it. And actually, if you look around, it's no charging port. Yeah, so that's one side. This is the other side, yeah. You can see on the back now, on the back is nothing. That's funny, and I found I found the charging port, I'll show you. Probably this is a new one because I, I didn't see it before. It's like a hybrid from USB and power. Uh, it's not this one. We have one USB here, it's not this one. We have two USBs here, it's not this one, but it is this one. Let's let's see. Yeah, he's saying power here. We can see the sign of power, and that's the that's the charging port, which is like a USB with a notch there. Obviously, we don't have the charger. That's one of the problems. But we still have to fix it. <coughs> what we are doing when, when we don't have the charger. Obviously we charge battery if we can. Yeah. Let's see what can be wrong with this one. Maybe it's a charging issue. So if I will charge the battery and the laptop is coming on and working, obviously it's a charger problem. What the laptop is doing right now, if I try to press the power button, I get only a flashing red light, probably low battery. So I open all the screws. What model is this? It's a Lenovo model name ATJH. JH, sorry. Lenovo Yoga 3 Space 14. ATJH. Yeah, it is a new one. I 
Okay, what do we have here? You know, I like this fake fan. So this is supposed to be the second fan. It's if here we have a dedicated graphic chip. Let's check the battery. We have a nice solid state hardware. Let's check the battery. This battery is 7.5. So it should be 8.4 fully charged, yeah. And we have 7 volts, that means we have a low battery. Let me start the multimeter. Okay. Let's check again. <coughs> Seven volts. Let's take the power supply. I just set up like nine, nine volts, around two amps. Well, let's see. Ground. It's probably ground. It's uh, connected to the ground. Yeah. And plus. And it's taking 2 amps. You can see there on the top, 2 amps. So that means it's charging. Let's charge the battery. Just want to test to see if, you know, <coughs> it's no reason to don't, don't start a job because you don't have the charger. Let's charge the battery. Same is taking two amps. The volts we have 8.1 right now with 2 amps. That means probably the battery just reached 7.4 volts. Let's check the voltage on the battery. Now the battery has... Oh, I can't see. Seven point two only. Okay, that's bad. Probably it's not coming on. Yeah, we still have a red flashing light here so it's not enough let me raise the current let's see around 3 amps now I have 2.7 amps let me go high 3.1 amps yeah So now the battery is getting charged with 3 amps. Which is okay, it's a big battery. Yeah, this is the long part. Charge the battery.
Let's check the voltage. Seven point three. Hmm. So three amps. This battery has seven thousand two hundred milliamps. That means the normal charging current should be like six hundred milliamps. And I charge this battery with three amps, and it's still charging slowly. Battery charging slowly. Battery is good. It's very good. Let's try and power up the laptop, see if it's coming on. Yeah, we have white light, the fan is spinning. And no picture on the screen. The laptop is still on, you can see the light here, white light. We still have the red flashing light. But the fan is spinning and no picture on the screen. Yeah, so that's the issue, no picture on the screen. You can see the white light and the... Yeah, that's flashing because it's low battery, but that's not a reason to be no picture on the screen, yeah? <clears throat> Let's try first few things. Let's take out the battery. Let's get the battery out. The battery is out. BIOS battery? Do we have a BIOS battery? Probably not. <clears throat> yeah, the Super IO chip is here. Well, I can't see any BIOS battery here. Okay, let's plug back the battery. Let's see, it's working or not. No, same no picture. Okay, let's check some things on this case, yeah? Let's check some things. Let's see what do we have here. On the RAM, on the RAM we have nothing. Why is no voltage here? Okay, what about on the processor? One point eight. This is not from the processor. Processor it's warm, that means the voltage is fine. On the Super IO is no point checking because obviously we have one volt here. And this probably this is the chipset by 3.3. Well, why is no voltage on RAM? That's weird. There's no voltage on the test point, which I suppose this is the plus. Seven volts here. <coughs> oh, 
Okay, let's have a look under the microscope because this is uh, it's funny. It's a funny job. Okay, so what did I do? I check the voltage on any of these capacitors, yeah? So here I should have like 1.5 volts, yeah? But I don't have. If I go here, I can see two test points, test points, which... I don't know which is plus. This and this. But on both, I have nothing. So I'm assuming this is the power supply from the RAM. Because it's the nearest one, yeah? Which I have zero. You see zero volts on the multimeter. So probably this is the driver, the driver of those MOSFETs. Yeah, we have voltage on the MOSFETs here. We have 7 volts. But we have no voltage on the output. And this is the driver, and the driver has 0 volts. Okay. That's weird. So the driver doesn't have power. Maybe it has power. Or maybe not. 3.2 there. Mm. No, it's not hot. So what is the volt? I suppose here, you see, we have a big cap. So I suppose there should be the main voltage for the driver chip. <coughs> but it's not. So we have no run voltage. One second. You know what I will do? Let me charge the battery a little bit more. The laptop is still on, yeah? Uh, you can't see. One second, let me switch. Yeah? So we have same thing, the white light and the red flashing light. So what I will do, I'll charge the battery a little bit more. Yeah. Three amps, which is fine. Let me grab out the battery. Maybe we have a shorter drum memory, which I don't think, I don't think, but can be. Let me unplug the battery, sorry. Let me get out the battery. The battery it's out, yeah? Okay, let's come with the power supply. Let's say 1 volt. 1 volt on that coil, yeah? 1 volt on the RAM coil. And it's taking like 200, 300 milliamps, which I think it's not shorted, yeah? On this case, I don't know in which di direction I should go, you know, because obviously, like usual, we don't have schematic. 
but that's not a reason to don't fix this one okay so the chip is the chip looks like it have a, has a hole there in the middle of the five it's a hole hmm? inside yeah it looks like it's a hole but maybe it's maybe it's supposed to be like that yeah five one seven one six let's have a look together five one seven one six yeah that's the one let me check one more time Five one seven one six. Sorry, five one seven one six. Yeah, that's the one. PDF. Let's see what is doing this chip. Obviously, we don't. We we know what is doing, but let's see on which pin is getting power. Okay, it's a driver. Synchronous back controller. Okay. And is taking power. We have the schematics five vein vein. It's not this one is 5 volts yes on pin 12 pin 12 yeah pin 12 okay let's check yeah look it's saying complete DDR2 DDR3 DDR uh, yeah this is DDR3 memory power solution it's a nice chip it's a nice chip nice So on pin 12, yeah? Let's find the pin 12. So the notch of the chip is here, yeah? It will be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. What pin? Uh, my memory is killing me 12. 11 12 okay so that's the that's the one oh you can't see sorry the pin 12 is this so what is on pin 1 let me check what is on pin number 1 why I have a big capacitor there pin number 1 okay is this one I have no idea what he's doing. That's not important. So let's connect back the battery. Let me plug the battery back. Let's power up one more time. Okay, now it's on. And let's check again. Pin number 12. That's mean here. And I have 5 volts. Oh, that's bad. That's proper bad. And I do have 5 volts. Hmm? Non the output. Output nothing. Okay, let's see if it's any condition for this chip to be working, yeah? Power good, pin 20.
Hmm? Yeah? Yeah, one second, one second. One second. Okay, so probably that probably probably that chip is dead, but you know, I'm trying to find a way. Maybe it's working. Maybe something else. You know, get the RAM out. The RAM is out. Plus minus. Can't see anything. Okay, let's find out if that's the problem. Okay, we are wasting time right now. Let me grab the battery out. Not that one, this one. I can order the I can order the the chip but I will be long Okay let's plug the battery back we need a power supply 1.35 volts yeah which is the RAM voltage
That's the ground. Let's supply the voltage RAM, the, the RAM voltage. Yeah? It's taking 60 milliamps, but the battery is too low. Hmm. Okay, let's charge the battery. So we have a problem, even, even if we are supplying the power for the RAM, if the chip is not outputting on the power good, outputting a signal to tell to the Super IO chip, you know what, the RAM power supply is fine, it will still not come on. <coughs> But I think even the chip is that can be outputting the power good signal because it looks like this one it's on even though it a dead RAM power supply. Yeah, the battery is charging, just wait, yeah? Yeah, but that's that kind of job, funny job. Yeah, probably the chip is that. <laughs> Let's try again, yeah? One point thirty five volts. On? No, the red light is flashing. Charge the battery more, yeah. One more time. It's on. And we still don't have picture on the screen. 300 milliamps is taking 300 milliamps. Okay. That's mean. Even the power good is no uh, is no getting out. Okay, let's let's play.
let's play. We can play with this one. We can play. Power good. Where is the power good? Pin twenty. Okay. So the logic level should be one on the power good, yeah. Let's check to be sure, let's check the internal schematic. Top view. Pin number twenty. Okay. Yeah, that's the one. Okay, so this is uh, switching to ground. That's perfect. Let's find out. Plug back the battery. Let me power up the laptop. It's on. Uh, okay. So normally I would just order the chip, but because you know we are here to learn, so we have now here pin number one, five, ten, fifteen, twenty. This is the one. Yeah, that's the one. Let's check what voltage do you have? Do we have there? And we have nothing. Okay, that's not good. Why right here we have a bridge? With 3.3, so we can just connect to see if we'll start working. Okay, let's try. Let's try. Let's test first. See if we have indeed 3.3 there. No, we don't have 3.3. But it's not fair. It's not okay. It's not okay at all. This is not putting anything. This is just shorting the ground the voltage. This is shorting something to ground. That's mean.
If now I have zero, that means this is open. This MOSFET. If the MOSFET is open, why I still have 3.3 there? Okay, let's try something else. One second. One second. Okay, let's try this. Let's get the battery out. Let's plug the battery back. Let me grab the power supply, 1.3, okay. And power button. And it's on. And we have picture on the screen. What's that thing? I think I move my uh, yeah I move my uh, 1.3 from the power supply yeah. So obviously if now RAM doesn't have any voltage, so I'm supplying the RAM voltage with this, and I full the super IO chip the power supply is outputting power good it's it's reporting reporting everything is flying here the power supply is up and running but it's not so I full the the super IO and uh, I'm supplying with the power supply with 1.3 I have no idea it's, if it's 1.35 how much can must be but anyway Oh, one Uh, sorry for that, yeah? So one more time, 1.35. You can't see the voltage, but trust me, yeah? So I'm supplying uh, voltage on the RAM. Exactly on the coil. Power on. I'll try to don't move the, the probe. It's taking like 1 amp, 0 0.8. It's on. And it's loading the windows. So I'm just trying, yeah, prob uh, probably the voltage is too low, yeah, one second. Let me raise the voltage, because on my power supply I can't see if it's 130 or uh, 139 or something like that, yeah. But let's raise the voltage to 1.4. Nothing can go wrong, trust me. 1.4, yeah. Let's see now. So I have 1.4 volts on the power supply. Yeah, 
Yeah, and the laptop is working fine. Now if I restart it, it will be working. I took out the, the 1.4, yeah? So that's how you diagnose. You know, actually this can be a lesson for advanced repairs, because obviously this is an advanced thing. Okay? So now we know for sure, we, we know like 100% that chip is dead. Goes off, please, yeah. Let me see if I can find the chip. Maybe on some new board, because this is a new chip. Let me see if I can find the chip, it's a small chip. Near to the RAM. This is a RAM. Let me see. I can't believe five one seven one six. Oh, you can't see. Oh, sorry. Five one seven one six. Yeah. This this is just you know this is just sick luck. You you get the first board. Cause here here it's a mess. So I, I, I got the first board from the floor and I found the chip. This is luck. This is, you know, blind luck. That's great. So we can fix the laptop originally, yeah? Or if you are mad enough, you know, it just... It will work, you know, I can, I can try. I can try to do something else, you know? I can build here a power supply, 1.4 volts. <laughs> we can make it working without that chip. Because on these days, yeah? On these days, everything is so complicated. Actually, you think you need that chip. Actually, you think you need that switching power supply. But it's switching power supply because it's efficient. But it can be replaced any time without anything, you know? Okay, so we took out the but we have to take out the battery to replace that chip. But many people, you know, they think, okay, we have that thing dead, and they 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 feel lost. You know, in many countries there is not like even my country back on back on um, Romania, it's no eBay day. What you are doing when you don't have that chip? You say no. You can't say no. Your job is to fix it. Doesn't matter how. So we can we can build a 1.4 volt power supply, but the problem is this is not my time. This is the shop time, and I can't do it here. But I just show you how we a power supply. We're supplying 1.4 volts. You can uh, make the laptop working. You, you can have a RAM power supply. Yeah. And in the same way, it's working with the 3 volt power supply, 3.3, 5 volts, you know, there's no difference. So if you have like in mind, okay, let's modify this. I want this laptop to be like how I want. Yeah, you can modify it. You can take out all the MOSFETs and all the power supply and modify it. Okay. The problem is here we have the ribbon cable from the keyboard the ribbon cable from the back keyboard backlight so I think I have to take out the board no I have to leave the board just to lift it yeah And and why I'm sad, you know, I'm sad because I start the lessons. And I people, you know, they say, but well, you're still doing advanced uh, video, yeah? That that's advanced. I actually think it's a beginner thing, but the, everything is starting from there. You know, learning how the currents work, voltage, uh, transistor, resistors, you know, diodes, 
capacitor. So that, that's advanced. That's that's what I'm using. That that knowledge from the you know from the beginner uh, lessons. So actually, that's that's what I'm trying to do. Try to make you understand how the things works. Okay, this is the charging connector. I'm I'm, I'm not happy about that one. I just try to leave the board a little bit. Okay, that should be fine. Let me use a metal thing. Uh, what about iPhone 7 screen? This should be perfect. Yeah, that's fine. So let me take this chip down. Okay, my problem is that connector. Hmm. Okay, that should be fine. Uh, I will use the clear flux because I don't want uh, the flux to go inside of that connector. I will use the Amtec one, but if 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 it will be not connected, I will use my one, the colophonium one. Yeah, I'll use a small nozzle on the hot air. If I can find a small nozzle, it is it's here. And I will take the chip out to 500 degrees because I don't care if I will burn the chip. The battery is out. So the notch is here, okay. The chip is out. Let me get out the replacement chip. Yeah, now the place is prepared for uh, Yeah, and I'll take the chip from this board. So the chip is this one, yeah, is this one, yeah. Let's use some flux. I will use my flux on this case. Hot air, let's go down to. Three sixty, three seventy, yeah, three hundred seventy Celsius, yeah. Hopefully, this chip is good. The chip is out. Let's move the chip in the board. So the notch is here.
Perfect. Yeah, it is perfect. Let's open the the jumper. Not the one which I fooled uh, Super Io to think it's everything fine. Maybe that's why the jumper is there. Okay, now it's time for testing. See if it's working or not. So what do you think it's working? The iPhone 7 screen, you know, you see it's essential here. <laughs> Board is back. I don't need a keyboard in these things. But yeah, let's let's put it back. But I want to check, I want to test first. So let's put the battery. Now let's just power up, see if it's working. It's on. The screen connector. So I don't even know if it's working or not. Okay, the screen is back. Let's see again. It's on. And it's working, yeah? It's all fine. And... Uh, let's see, it's starting. Yeah, it's okay, it's on. I think you will see the the the, the image flashing is because of the refresh rate, but trust me, it's not flashing there. Let's check the RAM voltage, but probably the computer will go to sleep. Uh, RAM voltage one point three six. Yeah, you can see that on the on the screen. So everything is working fine. So the issue was the chip itself, okay? So I'll just try to give you an idea the things to be checked when you have a, a it's coming on but no picture like the RAM power supply Okay, good I don't think I will. Uh, this video will be a workshop flow because uh, I'm hungry already. So it's nearly 12 o'clock. I have to go to buy some sweets and eat something. But anyway, see you on the next job. Yeah. After I'll have my lunch, I will probably I'll start different different video. Yeah? Bye.